How's it going, laser Bruce? I'm Bobby Six Killer, and welcome to the demo for Machinica Museum. Now, I was getting all geared up to play this game on the channel when it came out this month, and lo and behold, it has been pushed back to the end of March, I believe. Um, wait, what month is it right now? Jesus, I don't even know what it is. March now. Yeah, well, it was meant to come out on the twenty something of February. It's been pushed back to the end of this month. Um, but when I noticed that, I also noticed I had a demo which I hadn't seen before. So we're gonna jump in. Uh, have a go on the demo, see what we think about it. It looks very nice, very well polished. I'm very excited to get into it. I don't know what it's about, but uh, you know, I love me some puzzle games. Especially ones that I don't have to bang my head against the wall to figure out. Although I don't know if that's one of these or not. Why is it connected to the controller? We don't need a controller for another long night at the museum ahead of me. Studying alien objects from a far reaching. From the far reaches of the galaxy. Why am I got controller on? Jesus Christ. Fine, whatever. I'll use a controller. Another box has been shipped today. As usual, they haven't given me any info. Just tell me researchers are supposed to research. Well, I mean, it's true, isn't it? That's what researchers are meant to do. Okay, I undid the controller because I hate it. Hold and click and swipe to look around. Okay, I see. Scissors. Double click on the envelope. Slide the letter out. Oh, I see. So it's like layers of fear type. Uh, clicking on, click and dragging to open things. That kind of shit. Dear colleague of the from the fourth floor. Following your request from two months ago, we have pulled the inventory of this old 3D printer slash scanner. It is an old model, but it works, theoretically. And although this manual, the manual is missing, we're sure you'll manage just fine. When you no longer have use for it, please be considerate enough to return it to its original box along with its accessories. Regards, Technical Services Department. Note, as usual, the lock code is set to the serial number. Serial number 1078. Okay. I will keep this letter in my inventory. Right click to zoom out. You got it. I must find something sharp to cut the tape on that box. You mean these scissors right here? Like literally right here? That's not how you spell scissors. <laughs> you fucking lunatic. Oh god. Oh, oh click and drag. I see. We'll figure it out. I should have a pen and paper right here, but I don't. Hang on, let me just sort that out right quickly. Yeah, let's have a close look at this big box. That's what she said. He said? I don't know. <laughs> How does that envelope stay attached to the lid? Very interesting. It is very, it's very well made, isn't it? It's very pretty. I shall click to continue. Don't you even worry about it. Let's find out how to start this printer. And we already got the letter. 1078. That's the card. One, R, seven, eight. Hey, it started. Good. It's a good thing the code was in the letter. I probably won't need it anymore. I'm going to put it aside. Oh, you know, what if we need it now? What is this? Battery. Does that go in one of these bits? Does this move? Does this move? This? Ah, here we go. Ooh, I like the sound effects. Oh, look, that looks just like it to me. What do you reckon? Plop. Why does it run on a battery? Is it portable? It's alive! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we got a malfunction of some description. I'm sure we'll figure it out. This thing? This container seems empty. I should replace it. Why would they send us an empty one? Terrible. Ink cartridge. Nice. That's terrible, man. Bad service. I'm going to leave you a, a bad review. Now what? Seriously, what the hell? Oh, this one? Ooh. Ooh. 
You have found museum emblem. Can I print that? What does this do? Can I put this in here? Close the door. Push a button. Hey! Look! I've never used a 3D printer in my life. Would you believe it? <laughs> does that mean I can replicate this now? Now that I've scanned it, I can print it. This button? Well, that's pretty impressive. Pretty space age, that one. Cool. Nice, a perfectly duplicated object. I'll keep this printer with me, it can be useful. Yeah, you think? If I can just duplicate anything, it's pretty useful, yeah. So fast, and with a laser. Now that the printer's working, let's see what interesting alien items I have to begin- have been given to study. Alien? Are you meaning literally alien? Aw. That was a little bit fast. <laughs> this might be a short episode. Well, it depends how many chapters they give us, I suppose. The alien items shipment I'm gonna study tonight. I was not given any information regarding their origins. I was just told that they just told me it was urgent, and that's not usual. I'm curious to see what's inside. Me too. Ooh, hello. We got a letter. We just got a letter. What does it say? Preliminary discovery report. The device of origin was placed in a near Saturn on asteroid designated Atlas. Origin and purpose of the device are unclear at this point. A few items fell from it when it was first extracted. We packed them along, following usual safety procedures. For unknown reasons, an emergency protocol was requested from above for this item, along several others, to be sent directly to the National Museum for further analysis. On a more important note, Dr. Does it say Brenner? Complained about the secrecy and unusual protocol surrounding this whole operation. Also, there's something very unusual and dangerous. Sounds like, looks like you're covering up the most important parts, but uh, whatever. Field Team 411. Lead by Dr. Brenner. No, do not activate this machine in low gravity in a low gravity environment. Oh. There's something here, and we need two pegs to open the doodaki. Priority one. Origin unknown. 18.4 kilos. Uh, what's over here then? Aha. We have found a hidden note. That wasn't that hidden because it was in the letter. 359. That'll be the code. I'm feeling that this piece would be helpful. Oh yeah, okay. I see, so that's what the print is for. That's an interesting uh, thing, because... Yeah, yeah, I think that makes it a bit more interesting than just finding things. You have to figure out what you need to duplicate as well. That's quite neat. I could get behind that as a mechanic. Especially if these other two do other, like, things like that. Was it 359? Like, this can duplicate and this can... Fuck, I don't know. I'm not a game designer. <laughs> Something else that's cool. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Looks like it's from Halo. <laughs> I like it. Ah, oh, come on. Full game coming very wishlist on Steam. <laughs> well, that's, that's going to be a 10 minute video. I apologize. It looks really cool though. I can't wait to like tinker with all the alien things. That's gonna be so much fun. Damn. I can't wait for this game to come out. End of the month. You know it's gonna be a series. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Sorry there's not much more to this demo, but it looks pretty neat. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking out with me and I'll see you in the next one.